We are headed to the most famous fried chicken place in Seattle right now. It's called Ezel's Famous Chicken. What makes it even more interesting is a labyrinthine tale of intrigue and woe that lies behind the actual chicken. Two best friends, Ezel and Lewis, they grew up together in Texas, decided they wanted to open a chicken restaurant in Seattle together. They did. Ezel, by the way, married Lewis's sister. Are you following me? So the chicken supposedly is legendary. Oprah, the queen of all media, loves it. Ezel's boomed, opened a lot of different franchises, and then there was a falling out between the two friends, Ezel and Lewis. They went their separate ways. Ezel opened his own fried chicken chain, leaving Lewis with Ezel's famous chicken. Are you confused yet? Now, where we're going right now is the original. We're going to the original location, which has been open for decades, of Ezel's famous chicken near the Central District in the heart of Seattle. We're gonna try this famous chicken. We are going to get a little bit more of this story from Lewis, and I can't wait to try it. Lewis. Yes, Lucas. I <laughs> I want to get in a little bit just to uh, how you began in the business and the history of this place. So it started out with two childhood friends, Ezell and myself. As teenagers, we worked at a place called Brown's Fried Chicken in Marshall, Texas. Okay. And that's where the dream began. My sister Faye and Ezell were childhood sweethearts. And right after high school, Ezell would marry her and bring her out to Seattle. Ezell's younger brother Samuel also worked with us. And then I have a younger brother, Darnell. And the five of us started this business in 1984. And this was the original location? This is the original location. And then you guys got a shout out from Oprah? Yes. Oprah was in town. She called and wanted it delivered to a hotel. Right. And the dispatcher that answered the phone said, we don't deliver on Saturday. Right. Oprah said, this is Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah said, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, this is Oprah Winfrey, and I want some of that chicken, and I want it now. After that, she got back, and in January, she had a show where she brought people on that went through a dining process, you know. She had this one lady on there, and she goes, yeah, girl, it's like I'll go out and buy a box of chocolates, and before I know it, the box is gone, and Oprah leans over and goes, yeah, I know what you mean, girl. Like, I was up in Seattle and I had some of this Ezel's chicken. <laughs> and the phone just started ringing off the hook. What does she love so much about the chicken? What, was, what makes it so special? We use a battering process that seals in the natural chicken juices, locks out the oils. We use a New Orleans-style Creole seasoning to marinate our chicken in. We marinate it overnight so that you have the flavor down to the bone. Oh, wow. Then we use a little cayenne in the breading, but you get that flavor to the last bite in the meat. So, I mean, I have to ask, you're here, Ezel's not. Why? Well, you know, in life, there's always forks in the road. And what started out as a family-owned business uh -huh. with a smaller vision became a corporate entity with a much larger vision. So now that we have shareholders, directors, all things were not in alignment with Ezell's vision. So okay. he had the option and he chose to take a different path and do things according to his comfort. Is he still married to your sister? No. But the rest of the family is still here. Faye's still involved with the business. Yeah. They have two sons. Okay. And they both work in the business. Uh, it's still a family it's business. It's not like a real angry kind, no, of, kind no, of situation. No, 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 no. But you know, um, breakups are never fun. Right. So we were able to come up with a solution. And uh, we still are pursuing the dream of having a national brand. And uh, we opened a store in Dubai. In Dubai? Dubai. They love chicken over there. I would like the three-piece chicken. Let's do a combo. And then let's also have a little order of fried okra. Louis said the sweet potato pie is super good. Yeah, it's potato pie. So I'll get a slice. He said the gizzards were good. Let me get a small order of that, too. And I think that's it. I'm excited. All for me. Thank you. Ezel's doesn't have a lot of seating inside, so what I've done is I've taken uh, my chicken to my sides and I've come to this gorgeous park, Powell Barnett Park. I'm just gonna sit over here at a table and enjoy my food. This fried chicken looks super good. It's nice because it doesn't look super greasy. It just looks like a dry fry. I saw a little bit how they did it back in the kitchen. They breaded it, dipped it in like a milk solution, and then breaded it again, and it's not a real heavy batter. It's actually relatively thin. 
you know, you can kind of see it. What Lewis said is that they marinate the chicken so that the flavor really gets into the chicken. It's not just in the coating. I gotta say, he's right. That chicken has some good flavor. You can really bite into it, and you get that juicy sort of grease rivulets running out of the chicken. And I think that is the sign of good fried chicken. I mean, it should be about the chicken. I think this, there's enough of the coating. It's nicely fried, it's nice and tight around the meat, and it's not super obtrusive. It's not overwhelmingly spicy at all. I'd say, in fact, it's pretty mild. But you get a little, you get a little spice. You get a little kick of a little cayenne. White meat versus dark meat. Now, people are real snobs about this, and people are like, well, if you're a real foodie, then you have to have dark meat. No respectable person would get white meat. Man, I gotta disagree. I like white meat, especially with like a fried chicken sandwich or with fried chicken. I just think white meat is more pleasing. So, sorry to those of you who like dark meat. I think we can still be friends. Let's do the gizzards. I'm gonna have a little sauce. I like to do the little tartar hot sauce mix. All my dining on a dime heads from season one, you know I like to pour hot sauce into the tartar. These are just chicken guts, and I don't know what part of the chicken this is. Is it this part? Maybe it's a kidney. Maybe it's a lung. I don't know where I would put this if I were playing Operation, but far be it from me to judge. It's like, gristle and bone. It's like crunching. Can you hear it? It's like I'm eating a, someone's ACL. I'm still chewing it. I don't know what I ate. It took, <laughs> it took a good four minutes for me to chew. Very tough, very rubbery, very crunchy. Didn't taste real good. Through no fault of Ezel's, the bright side is the fry on it was nice. Gizzards, maybe not my thing. In a way, it's like, you know, you ever get rib tips? Those ends, those cartilage crunchy ends. A little bit like that, but maybe times five. I could definitely see some people be into this. My grandma be into this. And she loves like organs and bits and bones and stuff. Why don't we now go to a very predictable, very soft chicken tender. Look at this lovely little morsel. It's very tender, it's not overdone, not too much breading. I love the spicy food. I love a good sweat. I love to suffer for my art. Fortunately, there's hot sauce. We've now got fried okra. You know okra. Some people don't like it because it, they think it tastes too slimy, but I, I really like it. I like it fried. I like it especially with Indian food, like a bindi masala. You still get that slight slickness, sliminess that you like in okra, but these have been lightly battered and then fried to within an inch of their life. And the result is that it's just sort of pleasantly crunchy and burned like popcorn. I go to the movies and just eat a bag of this. Last but not least, here we've got a little piece of sweet potato pie. This just looks like fall, doesn't it? This is very good sweet potato pie. This is just like nutmeg and cinnamon. It's a very creamy, whipped sweet potato. The crust, which every pie connoisseur knows is the most important part of a pie, is buttery, flaky, a very unobtrusive vehicle for the spiced, smooth, creamy potato filling on the inside. I can see why Oprah Winfrey, goddess of all media, would fly these gentlemen to Chicago to cater a birthday party. The chicken is great, the pie is great. I can see why they've had a business for over 30 years now. You don't stay in business that long if you're not doing something right. And Ezel's is clearly doing something very, very right. I just had some really outstanding fried chicken from Ezel's Famous Chicken here in Seattle. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime, and if you'd like to watch more, please click here. As Ben Franklin would say, hunger is the best pickle, but I disagree with you, founding father. That's what he said.